Glad you brought that up. <laughs> no, we can't see anything on the screen. Good morning, Big Bear. <laughs> today is, uh, what is today? Monday, yeah, September whatever you'd 3rd? Like it to be. It's the yeah. last day of the holiday. <laughs> it's Labor Day. Yay, good morning. I'm Gloria Rose, and this is... Dan Bathurst. Good Welcome. morning to everybody. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. I, it's delightful. I, we're it's just delighted amazing. to be here. We're just <laughs> delighted to be here. And don't forget, and you, it's hard to be this cheerful. This early it early. is, especially no. on a holiday. We're doing good, though. We're ready. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. And don't forget, it, you can see us on uh, channel6bigbear.com on your internet. Or now you have audio. Now we have audio. Okay, so we have to do that all over again. Okay. Good morning, Big is. Bear. <laughs> Today is Monday, September 3rd, and it's Labor Day, so we welcome you to the show. I'm Gloria Rose, and this is Daniel Bathers. And we welcome you and hope you're uh, having a good holiday weekend. One of my friends says this is the absolute craziest Labor Day that they've seen in it's, a long time. I'll tell you what, there's been an awful lot of people up here. I don't know what they're doing, but I hope they're having a good time. They're just now. driving around, <laughs> getting around. I don't around. know where they're stopping. They're not stopping <laughs> often enough. <laughs> so today is my first day into town. I haven't made the venture until today. So I was foolish enough to do it a couple of times. And, and well, did you cry? Once. I bet you, you did. Know. I bet you and, do. and that that whole back road secrets. Yeah, <laughs> everybody knows it everybody now. Everybody knows it now. Somebody's handing out a map somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So what are you going to do today? Today is, uh, I'm going to take it easy today. I'm not coming. In. This is my only trip to town, and it was so beautiful because oh, yeah, we, we shoot just, a can down the road and yes. not, not hit anything. That's you know? right. So it was like just a nice, calm drive in. Not, mm, 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 mm. Bumper to bumper. You know, bumper to bumper. Um, but it's a good day. You know, it's a relaxing day. Yep. We, we had our barbecues, we did the concert, we did the, everything right. we were supposed to do. John and Emily had their uh, um, engagement, engagement party. party, so we went to that. So it's been fun. Oh, very you know, good. I made sure that everything was on that end of town. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, we, we went to the convention center fall festival yesterday, and then we had lunch, and I told Susan, we can go, but we have to stay on the east end. So that I'm, we did. And I'm it right was, there with you. It was very quiet. Convention center is the line, right? Division. <laughs> stop at division. Stop Make stop left or division. right. That's right. <laughs> I turned on Stanfield the other uh -huh. day. Oh my gosh, it was bumper to bumper. You could not go anywhere. Yeah, so people know about the North Shore and they know yes. about, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh well, okay. So, but we're glad to have all the, our our visitors up here because you know, without them, hey, we wouldn't be up here. It's how we survive. That's right. So, yeah. thank you for coming. We appreciate you all very much. We'll miss you when you go home. What time? Are you like? <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, you can watch us on Channel Six Big Bear dot com or listen to us on your radio dial at eighty seven point seven. So. There's a couple of ways right now. I want to give a couple of shout outs. One to my friend Melissa in San Diego who welcomed her fifth grandchild. Wow. And his name is Isaiah David Rivera. So congratulations, Melissa. I don't have any, so I'm a little jealous. <laughs> and, and I want to give a shout out to a, a lady that works at Walgreens. You know, Walgreens. Okay. Walgreens Everybody does their job. Some some do it a little more uh, exemplary. Is that the word? Exemplary? Okay. A little better. So I go in there the other day. I go there. I go to CVS. I go wherever. It doesn't really matter. And she so went out of her way for me. She dug for coupons, found me $5 to save. I didn't even ask. I mean, she was just like my my <laughs> secret valet. And I called the store and I told them thank you very much because she was absolutely extraordinary. So, I mean, well, kudos. That's yeah. Great. So, if you yeah. need help with prescription, anything, this is the woman to go see at, at uh, Walgreens. You, get a, really a, nice. you know, that whole customer service thing seems to have been a lost entity for a long time there. It does seem like it's coming back, though. People are, are realizing that, you know, there has to be a little courtesy to the customer. You well, know. and not just because what we're Big Bear. The customer's always right. No, not yeah. just Big Bear. Yeah. Well, you, know. you know, just because, you know, we should be treated, I don't care if you're spending a dollar or you're spending a hundred, you should be yeah. treated the same. Exactly. Because you might come back and spend a hundred. <laughs> 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 exactly. I, sometimes I do. <clears throat> what do I want to talk about? Anything hmm. you want. Here, it's your Well, because I want you to talk about your real it's estate. Your the Big Bear Film Festival will be here September 14th through 16th. So please call 866 Six six three four three three for tickets information you can buy just for a block of uh, movies you can buy for the whole weekend it's fabulous it's like a small cans can that we have here mm -hmm. and it's just fabulous <laughs> <laughs> it is you can feel I, it feel like a big girl running around from theater to theater into the pack and watch films meet the directors go to workshops that's cool it is very cool have you done it yes wow absolutely 
Of course, it has I, something with media or whatever. I, you know, yeah, right there I am. There I am. Um, <laughs> let's uh, see. We just went out. Oh, we went out again? Why don't we just keep talking? Yeah. The, just keep talking. The weather is going to be like in the mid 60s all week, but we're still going to have that, that chance of precipitation. Uh, they, you know, they're kind of pushing that off. I heard it this morning. They're, they're pushing it off a little bit. So, are you calling you know? me a liar? No, I'm, tired. I'm right, saying, then. you know what? We got to stay with that update on a regular basis, but it's supposed to be, we're supposed to be warm all week and even uh, into next weekend. Okay. So it's going to be absolutely beautiful. So the first day of frost is September 6th. Did you Ooh. know that? Ooh. For the Per the Farmer's Almanac. So everybody's complaining already. <laughs> oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh, it's 32. Wow. We live in the mountains. I know. But so, you know, you know. Doesn't it, honestly, doesn't it seem like summer just goes, and what? then summer kind of. I mean, winter just kind of yeah. Because let's see, I think it was I think it was Saturday. Was it Saturday night or Friday night? That was definitely the night it started. Boom! It was cold and it was yes. 32 degrees yesterday morning, I believe. So it's here. So enjoy it. I'll be sad to see it go too, but my snow's coming. So your snow is coming. My snow's coming. My winter. Sorry, you my guys. summer's leaving. <laughs> I gave you your summer. It's my my season now. So yes. yeah. So I got my house all winterized. Everything's ready. So we're ready to go. Oh, you are Miss Efficient. Sometimes. Sometimes. And other times I'm just not. So Dan. So ma'am. Tell us what's happening in the world of real estate. Why real don't estate you? is doing uh, fairly well. I got to put on the. Um, your cheaters. Well, whatever. I they mean are. your bifocals. They're, I mean your they're, glasses. They're working no matter <laughs> what. <laughs> okay. Um, real estate is actually doing very well, especially on the uh, low end as usual. You know, everybody's uh, looking to buy the least expensive Bargain, house right. they can. Um, the, the good thing about it is, is our short sale and foreclosure market has really shrank. So we're not, we're not in that desperate mode as, as we were in the beginning of the year. So things have really picked up considerably. Before you uh, go on, I have a question on that though. Absolutely. Okay. So before, like you're saying, the buyers always want a deal. There's, it's never going to change. Right. So are they sad that the short sale inventory is going down? Because now, you know, prices are going up a little bit, correct? And yes. sellers are not going to be so anxious to Give well, them the best deal in town. Consider this. Uh, for All the right. most part, you have uh, the most important thing is in the market today is first time buyers. Okay. And especially in Big Berry, you know, that's a, uh, it's an opportunity for younger people to step into something, people who have never bought before. You know, it's, it's opened up that door to them. Uh, and so it's a good marketplace for that. And that's okay. something that we really needed to focus on more and not so much on foreclosure and short Right. Sale. Well, yeah, of course. And, and economically, <clears throat> when you, you know, there has to be a bottom somewhere. And with the floodgates open when we were first uh, dealing with the short sales and foreclosures, um, it was just inundated everything. And people really were lost on what decisions to make. People are a little smarter now. They're making better decisions. Um, there are some people that were panicking because they were down a couple of payments and they wanted to just let it go. Uh, they learned that they weren't necessarily so bad off in what their balance was that they were out of the marketplace. So mm -hmm. now, um, we're educating those people more on, you know, you still have an opportunity to resell your house, not necessarily go to short sale. Uh, we're educating the public a lot more because we're a lot more educated on what's going on. So uh, as far as the market goes, no, you really, the, the short sale and foreclosure was, was an era. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just a, just a, an a ugly thing. one to be and, forgotten as soon as and possible. And remember the people that are coming in and, and as, as one of the stats on here uh, to date, um, 250 sold listings in the foreclosure and short sale market to, the, to date. 110 of those are um, cash buyers. Mm -hmm. So those are your investors. Those are people that are coming from down the hill and just looking for the bargain and recon maybe a little bit uh, because a lot of those houses you really want to go away. Most of them are REOs that have been picked over and stripped and people right. have sold off every item in the house and moved on. Uh, so you want those to go away. So that's a good market for the investor. But for the first time buyer, for people who are just looking to move up in, in life and do those things, the market has adjusted itself. Uh, you know, there was a point there where people were buying homes at 167% over market value. I mean, so the minute you signed that paper, your, um, your house was depreciating 67%. And it was just a crazy time in, in the industry. Uh, we have balanced out considerably. And I think now um, it's realistic. Banks are loosening up a lot more. They're, they're actually forced to loosen up a lot more. Their, their um, policies have changed considerably. So it is opening a lot of doors to people that were unable to do anything uh, at this point. So in, in the market for us today, we're doing well. Um, 
for Big Bear. And inventory everywhere is throughout Orange County, LA County is so low that they have a tremendous amount of buyers, but they got no inventory. They have no homes to sell. So you're getting that market uh, back up where you're getting three and four and five offers on a house. So mm -hmm. it that helps everything. That helps it for the seller. It helps it for the buyer because you want to. You're investing your money and your time into something. So um, a, an amazing thing here, stat-wise. Uh, that I see is we're we're at 552 listings right now. That's that's the lowest that we've been in a long time. Um, but a mar majority of our homes are higher up homes. Mm -hmm. So we're doing we're doing good. But uh, we're at 720 sold listings in the residential, 250 in the uh, foreclosure short sale, and again our cash buyers are are in there at 110, which is about 40 percent. I mean, uh, yeah, about 47 percent of our market is cash buying right now. Yeah, that's so great. If, if the banks loosen up and continue to loosen up, we're going to do a lot better. I think they that. will. At first, it so. was just frantic. Everybody running around, nobody knowing what they're doing. But now yeah. they they see that it's paying uh, paying off to work with the sellers. Yes. Give them the cash for keys so that the houses stay as nice as possible um, for yeah. the buyers to. And, walk and we into. encourage that more as the agents have have gotten educated. You got to remember when this all started, nobody knew what a short sale was. Nobody <laughs> yes, knew what. Yes, uh, you yes. know, there was no such thing as foreclosure. You know, well, let's sell the house, let's do something, but foreclosure was just like, psh, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> so now. Uh, it's an accepted issue. It's, you're not the only one in the boat. Uh, there's a lot of people out there going through foreclosure, a lot of people going through the short sale process. So they've really smoothed it out. It doesn't, you know, you're 90 days now instead of, you know, there were times there where six, seven months down the road you were still waiting for a short sale to come through. Right. So the banks have been pushed, the government's pushing them harder. Uh, to get these things done. There's been a couple of lawsuits out there that have changed the way it goes, but now we're, we're pretty well balanced out. So we're doing good in Big Bear at the moment. Good. Okay. Excellent. There's and see, this man knows his head is so big. It's so full of information. <laughs> He's the best in the business. And if we want to look at John going, who are we talking about? <laughs> and if you need to talk to Dan, like I said, don't feel pressured. I, I sent a friend of mine to him the other day, and, and I said, please, this man is fabulous. Don't ever feel pressured that just to sit down and talk with him, you're roped into using right. him for an agent. He's more than happy to share his information with you. So if you need to talk to him, give him a call at 909-878-0522. Or you can contact <laughs> him on the web at <laughs> exitrealitybigbear.com. Very good. You can no hesitation this time. <laughs> no, so I rehearsed it in my mind 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what she's saying is really true. I, I will take the time to talk to anybody that's in distress situation or you're a little confused about what's going on. Don't hesitate to call. Send me an email, whatever you'd like to do. But I'm more than happy to help you out. You may not list with me. That's not that important. Or I'm really more concerned about people understanding what's going on in the marketplace today. Yeah, and at least you'll go away a little better informed so you can make exactly. the best decision for yourself. Exactly. Very good. So, we'll get, we're going to go to um, our sponsors right now, and when we come back, we're going to have um, Yulmore Clary on, who's going to talk about Big Bear Valley COAD. Do you know what that is? No. COAD? Uh-huh. What is it? Uh, a few letters in the alphabet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, the <laughs> community organ. I didn't either. Community Organization Active in Disaster. So we hope you'll join us. We'll be right back.